hey what's up guys welcome to the 12th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is Abhilash and in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can uh, configure our java project to include these required selenium jars uh, in this tutorial we will be working with the same java project that we have created in the last tutorial and will quickly create a test automation script that will open a web page url on uh, mozilla firefox browser so let's get started so in the java project that is selenium test we have uh, the source folder we quickly create a new package inside a source folder so right click new package so it's a best practice to start the name of a package using a lowercase letter and again it's a best practice to keep the all the letters of a package name as lowercase so let's name it as uh, com dot example finish so we have a package inside a source folder again we create a class inside this package so click on right click on package new class so let's name it as uh, class 1 so as I have uh, explained earlier it's a best practice to start the name of uh, a Java class using a capital letter and it would be better if uh, the class names are uh, descriptive and uh, it should uh, explain the purpose of uh, whatever functions that we are going to include so just for simplicity we can uh, name it as class 1 for now since uh, we will be working with uh, multiple number of uh, classes in the upcoming uh, tutorials so as you can see we have uh, also included the main method inside uh, this class and let's create this class so nothing new till now we have uh, created a package inside the source folder and a class uh, within the java package so basically in order to open a web browser using the selenium web driver jars so in the previous tutorials we have included all the jars that are required so basically we can use the classes or interfaces that are uh, present in these jars so for all those who are uh, beginners and have uh, not worked much with uh, java programming language these uh, classes and interfaces are nothing but uh, these are some of the entities in java that we use uh, so nothing to worry about for now you can uh, just stick to this particular tutorial series and i hope in the end you will uh, be able to understand the concepts that uh, I am going to explain in this uh, tutorial series so basically uh, the interface that we need to use is a web driver so again as I have uh, explained earlier how we can use the auto suggestion uh, feature of uh, Eclipse IDE so basically you uh, press the combination of uh, keys on keyboard that is uh, control and space keys and it will list down the suggestions for you as of uh, which uh, class or interfaces you can use so basically as you can see we have something called as i so this is nothing but this is the interface and it is present under this particular package and these packages are included in these chars so this is the interface and we have some other classes that is as you can see this uh, green circle that is C so this is a class name so for now we will be using the web driver interface so whenever uh, you are going to open a web browser we need this particular interface to be used in our Java programs and after uh, we declare this uh, interface we need to give some uh, name to create the object of uh, this particular type of interface so let's name it as uh, driver so this is the way we declare a variable or you can say these are nothing but these are the objects 
the Java objects that we declare based on uh, the interfaces of classes and we can use uh, different methods that are provided by these uh, classes or interfaces using these objects so basically this is the declaration part and we need to assign this driver to the web browser so basically uh, before assigning it uh, the one thing that you need to do is uh, you need to include the uh, Firefox uh, web driver server web browser driver uh, in the system properties before you can actually get started so basically let's quickly browse to the required uh, driver servers that we had downloaded in the previous tutorial so under selenium we have something called a selenium drivers so we'll quickly copy this path and under system dot property system dot set property so this is the way we set the property and we have the very first string that is web driver dot gecko driver so basically we will be working with gecko driver since uh, we are working with the mozilla firefox browser and include the path for now I'll quickly explain this how uh, we include the paths in Java programs uh, since I'm running out of time for now let's quickly set this as gecko driver.exe okay, so this is the way we include the property and we can use the driver servers in our java programs guys i'm running out of time so we'll uh, conclude this uh, particular tutorial over here and we'll try to explain what is uh, all this about a uh, web driver gecko driver and how we can include the paths in the selenium java classes so we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one